Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In order to use Flyway to migrate data into our RDS database, one of the things we must do is update our Flyway configuration file. In the Flyway configuration file, this is where you enter the credentials of the database you want to connect to. For this project, we will use Flyway to connect to our RDS MySQL database. To update our Flyway configuration file, we will use this information and I'll leave the link to this document in this video's description. So the next thing I want you to do is select everything in this file. Once you've selected everything in it, right click to copy it. Once you have copied this information, the next thing we will do is open the Flyway folder we downloaded in the previous lecture in Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to open Visual Studio Code on my computer. To open the Flyway folder in Visual Studio Code, select File and select Open Folder. Then we will browse to the location where we saved the folder. The folder is in my home directory, so I'll select C drive. And on the C drive, I'm going to select users. And in the users directory, I'll select admin. My flyway folder is in this directory, so I'm going to scroll down. And this is my flyway folder. I'm going to select it once and click select folder. This is how you open your flyway folder in Visual Studio Code. Once you have opened your Flyway folder in Visual Studio Code, I want you to select this drop down under the conf folder. Then select this flyway.conf file. In this file, Flyway is showing you some examples of how to connect to different database and some Flyway options that exist. So what we will do in this lecture is we will replace everything in this file. So I want you to press Ctrl A to select everything and delete it. Once you have deleted everything in this file, paste the information you copied from my GitHub repository here. So I'm going to right click and click paste. To connect to our RDS database, these are the information we need. And the only thing we need to enter here is our RDS database name, our RDS username and password. So to get this information, let's go to the management console. In the management console, Type RDS in the search box and select RDS under services. On the RDS dashboard, select DB instances and select your database instance name. On this page, select the configuration tab and scroll down. Here you will see your database username and here you will see your database name. So first, let's copy our database name. Then let's go back to Visual Studio Code. In the flyway.com file, on line one, paste your database name after the forward slash. This is what the value should look like. Make sure you paste your database name after the forward slash. The next value we will enter is the flyway.user. And this is going to be the username of our database. To get the username of your database, go to the Management Console. In the Management Console, under Master Username, this is your database username. Select it and copy it. Then go back to your Flyway file. And under Flyway.user, paste it there. The next value we will enter is for the Flyway.password. And this is going to be the password of your RDS database. Remember I told you to save this password somewhere on your computer. So enter your database password here. This is all we need to do to update our Flyway configuration file. Before we end this lecture, make sure you save your file. Select File and select Save. If you have any questions on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.